My name is Dana Catherine Scully. I was assigned nine years ago to the X-Files to spy on Agent Mulder, whose methods the FBI distrusted. Assigned not just as an agent, but as a medical doctor, a scientist. And as a serious scientist, you came to believe in Agent Mulder's theories. I came to believe in the existence of extraterrestrial life and in a conspiracy inside the government to keep their existence a secret. The proof was overwhelming. It was even scientifically undeniable. I believe, as do many respected scientists, that life came to Earth millions of years ago from a meteor or a rock from Mars. So what you're saying is life, human life, is extraterrestrial by definition. Objection. What does this nonsense have to do with Mulder murdering a man in cold blood? Agent Scully will prove that a government conspiracy exists to deny the existence of extraterrestrials. You are not here proving government conspiracies, Mr. Skinner. You're here to defend Fox Mulder. And I'm trying to do that. It's your case, Mr. Skinner. So a meteor crashed to Earth. But along with the biological building blocks on it, there was something else, an alien virus. I believe there was a virus which thrived here prehistorically. I believe that virus infected early man and transformed his physiology. Change him into something else. Into an alien life form himself. And what happened to these aliens? They died in the last ice age 35,000 years ago. And the virus? It lay dormant underground until it surfaced once again during our current geologic period. And the government knows of this. The government learned of this virus in 1947 when a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. The UFO crash revealed the virus. The virus thrived underground in petroleum deposits, in black oil. It has sentience. It can think. It has the ability to communicate. And it communicated with the UFOs. And the government knows this, too. In Roswell, they captured aliens from the spacecraft wreckage. They salvaged various alien technology from them, and from their data banks, they learned of the alien plan to recolonize the Earth. Is this all leading anywhere? Yeah, the destruction of mankind. I'll warn you once, Agent Mulder. And what did the government do with this information of an alien takeover? They kept it a dark secret. If it had gotten out, there would have been wild panic. Mr. Skinner, are we finished? No, this is a matter of Agent Scully's own abduction in 1994. Abduction by whom? By the military, working with the government conspirators to develop a breed of human-alien hybrids that the aliens would use as a slave race. Thank you, Agent Scully. Your witness, Mr. Callum Bruner. <laughs>